When I think about strong cotton, I think about Delta Pine and the legacy that Delta Pine has brought to us here in, in, the, in the cotton belt, specifically here in the southeast, the Carolinas, the southeast Virginia. Over 110 years of breeding great varieties for us over here. And you know, most recently we have a variety like 1646 that has just set the bar so high on yield, fiber quality, and, and, and other regions as well. But here in the southeast, it's really been our go-to. And as we roll into the next decade of cotton, uh, we've got a lot of varieties in our mid to full set that are going to be equal to and even better than 1646. Varieties like 2038, which is a very unique variety, has a different plant growth than 1646, requires the same kind of management, but really has out yielded 1646 belt wide and here in the southeast. So a lot of excitement around 2038 for us. Uh, another variety I'm excited about is one we launched last year, Delta Pine 2141. It's a root knot, reniform resistant line that has a great fit for us here on our coastal plain soils. Um, it, it's equal to yield in 1646 across the board, but when you move on to those infested fields of root knot and reniform, that's where it really excels at and surpasses 1646 and other varieties. So really excited about 2141, especially for those guys who've got root knot and reniform infested land. And the last one I'll mention is Delta Pine 2055. Been around for a couple of years. Everybody's really, really familiar with 2055. Its best fit probably is in that, in that southern tier of our geography. The South Carolina growers, lower North Carolina. Yeah, we got guys in North Carolina and North that grow it. The big thing with that one is you gotta make sure you manage it correctly. It brings that same kind of yield and that great fiber quality that 1646 brings and a very versatile fit variety. For more information about any of our varieties, you can contact myself, your FSR, or, or reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram.